In the beginning, you, you start to see that, you know, Lamar is always on the phone. His mind is wondering. He's never really paying attention. And Jim is kind of like on his rear about it. And um, after a while, after he opens up to him, they become more close, have like a more of a, a brotherly type of relationship. Rupert is brilliant. Um, he helps me out so much. This is like this is all new to me, acting and everything. So, and he tells me every time, okay, so you want to go in this direction, and he just really, um, oh man, he's really, uh, really a nice guy. But he coaches you through it. He's not harsh. His delivery is always in a kind, genuine way, and uh, he wants you to be perfect. So, and I shoot for perfection as well. So. I think that's why we're going to have a good project. Well, I tied it into what I go through, uh, what I went through in high school. Um, I used to go to class and be on the phone and you know come to class late. Being just a basketball player in general in high school and having like a star program like that, I can kind of relate to Lamar a little bit. And I had my own home issues as well. One of the most challenging things was trying to find that emotion, you know, to be kind of like, uh, basically the world's against me and, you know, I have all this, like, these emotions, you know, locked up and instead of like, and just letting them out. Um, I had to think about other past experiences and just trying to, I'm a perfectionist, so I tried to like, just give it to, you know, give it my all on camera for Rupert and Mark and for the whole cast. You have this star athlete with a lot of talent, you know, basketball player, and um, you think that he has the world, but he really doesn't, you know. Sometimes uh, don't judge a book by its cover. There's many layers to a person.